Hello students, very happy to conduct this session. We are resuming our class today. I hope and pray every one of you and your family members are safe under God's protection. Let us togetherly pray. I would like to say our prayer. I want everybody to repeat with me Lord's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Students, we all know our situation. Isn't it? It is a need of the hour to think that your future is now in your hands. We do confess that these virtual classes is not the same as the real classroom situation. But then, students, kindly keep in your mind, we need to create all situation into opportunity. I repeat, we need to create all situation into opportunity. Abhi now. நமக்கு நடக்கிற விஷயங்கள் சுச்சுவேஷனை ஒரு ஒரு சுச்சுவேஷனை வாய்ப்புகளை மாத்திக்கணும் அது நம்ம கையில தான் இருக்கு இஸ் அ கிளியர் ஐ ரிப்பீட் வி நீட் டு கிரியேட் ஆல் சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் இன்டு அன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி ஐ ரெக்வஸ்ட் எவ்ரி ஒன் டு சின்சியர்லி இன்டல்ஜ் இன் தீஸ் கிளாஸஸ் வித்வுட் கிவிங் எக்ஸ்கூசஸ் வி டூ அக்செப்ட் யோர் சுச்சுவேஷன் வென் இட் இஸ் ரியல் அண்ட் ட்ரூத்ஃபுல் பட் do not try to give excuses for your laziness this is high time to double up our knowledge you can do even if you are sitting at your home also you can do it you can do wonders and you can enrich your mind by listening all the videos that we are posting to you students if you have any kind of clarification or any doubt or if you are unable to understand any meaning of a word kindly post to us or just ping us your doubts or you can call us we are here to support any time for you children we are there for you so last but not least i would like to tell only one phrase for you do not procrastinate i repeat do not procrastinate apdina procrastinate apdindra vaarthai ke enna artham na போஸ்ட்போன் பண்றது தள்ளி போடுறது என்னைக்கு படிச்சுக்கலாம் பதினோரு மணிக்கு மேல படிக்கலாம் நாளைக்கு படிக்கலாம் இன்னைக்கு இந்த வேலையை முடிச்சிடலாம் அப்புறமா படிக்கலாம் அப்படின்னு நம்ம தள்ளி போடுற விஷயத்த தான் நம்ம என்ன சொல்றோம்னா ப்ரிக்ராஸ்டினேட் தயவ செய்து அந்த விஷயத்த பண்ணாதீங்க வாழ்க்கையில முன்னேறணும் அப்படின்னா அந்த ப்ரொக்ராஸ்டினேட்டை தவிர்க்கணும் இஸ் அ கிளியர் இன்னைக்கு வேலையை இன்னைக்கே முடிச்சிடணும் சோ டுடேஸ் லெசன் யூ வில் பி லேர்னிங் இன் டெலிஜென்ட் வே அண்ட் இன் சின்சியர் வே வி வில் கம்ப்ளீட் டுடேஸ் போர்ஷன் வித் ஆல் யோர் சப்போர்ட் ஐ திங்க் ஐம் கோயிங் டு கண்டினியூ த லெசன் ஓகே வித் இஸ் லவ்லி நோட் வி வில் ஹாவ் கண்டினியூ த செகண்ட் சாப்டர் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹாவ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் இன் த செகண்ட் சாப்டர் to describe factors controlling the climate of india we have covered we have understood the characteristics of different seasons in india and we also know about the rainfall distribution of india till last class i think we have covered all this portions and now today uh, we are going to cover a last topic under the sir unit 2 a very very short very very beautiful wonderful topic that we are going to study is about a different types of natural vegetations and wildlife in india is it clear so the the topic that we are going to cover is different types of natural vegetation and wildlife in india natural vegetation what do you mean by the term natural vegetation it refers to the plant community unaffected by man either directly or indirectly plant community abina பிளான்ட்னா வெறும் பிளான்ட் கிடையாது நீங்க நினைக்கிற மாதிரி சின்ன பிளான்ட் இல்லை இது எல்லாம் ட்ரீஸ் 
creepers, shrubs, thorny bushes, grasses. All of this is the same. Is it clear? That is the entire we say as a plant community. And it is unaffected by man either directly or indirectly. Nambulala adu valarala. Yerkea adu uruvairg. Other than a mopadi nambana solonum forest abdi namasola. Anna yella forest or natural vegetation lover. Because afforestation we have a program, isn't it? So when we talk of afforestation, we create that forest. So it will not come under natural vegetation. Natural vegetation refers to plants community that are grown naturally in the environment so second line it has its existence certain natural environment and natural vegetation includes all plants life such as trees bushes herbs forbs that grows naturally in an area that have been left undisturbed by humans for a long time forest 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 because it is very very dense and even you cannot enter into that so we have a very very dense forest and dense forest only is left out but all the other forests have been cleared by human you all know that isn't it okay now we are going to see about the different types of uh, natural vegetation and based on some important environmental factors we have different types of natural vegetation so based on climate soil landforms Characteristics of important environmental controls of natural vegetation on the basis of the above factors. So, either land the factors based on the climate, based on the soil, and based on the landforms, we are classifying the natural vegetation into following types. So, India's natural vegetation can be classified into following types. Okay. First, I would like to tell the topic of that, and later we will study in detail. We are going to see the topic first and later we will see the content. First, tropical evergreen forest. Second, tropical deciduous forest. We will see tropical dry forest. Next, we will see mountain or mountain forest. Next, we will see alpine forest later we will see tidal forest coastal forest and finally we will see riverine forest okay so we are going to see eight different types of natural vegetation am i clear to you yes and now you can see that natural vegetation so you can see here tropical evergreen forest coastal forest tropical dry forest desert forest tidal forest eastern himalayan forest western himalayan forest alpine forest cold desert forest you have a beautiful uh, map marked here all the vegetations of in india is given in this map beautifully we will come once again come again to the map when we are discussing the each respective topics let us come to first one, tropical evergreen forest. Why this word tropical? Yeah, tropical. You know that India lies in the tropical region. And you know, tropic of cancer is there. This tropic of cancer, it divides India into two. You know that. Northern part is not tropical. It is called as a subtropical. But southern part is called as a comes under tropical region isn't it it is very nearer to the equator you know that and hence in this region if we have a evergreen forest it is called as a tropical evergreen forest okay evergreen what is evergreen it means that the trees do not shed their leaves always it will be lushy green and remains always green and it is called as a evergreen such type of forest which is located in the tropical region as well as it is evergreen entire year then it comes under tropical evergreen forest i think i am clear with this we will move into the 
important points coming under this topic. This forests are found in the areas of 200 cm or more annual rainfall. See children, we are going to study this uh, natural vegetation based on these three important factors. We are going to study the moon forest First, we will see the climate. Second, we will refer to the soil condition and we will also study based on the landform. These are the important factors. So, when you are writing the tropical evergreen forest, you will cover all the three types of characteristics. Is it clear? Yes. When we talk of climate, climate mostly, when we are talking of climate, we refer to the monsoon. Okay. And monsoon means rainfall. And these forests are found in the areas which receives the annual rainfall more than 200 cm. This is highlight. 200 cm or more annual rainfall. In the forest, there is a lot of rain in the forest. One point. Is it clear? Yes. The annual temperature is about more than 22 degrees Celsius and the average annual humidity exceeds 70% in this region so in the one two three four lines it refers to the climate now we will see where it is found okay in which region it is found landforms in America soil so where you can see this uh, wonderful tropical evergreen forest okay so tropical region evergreen forest western guards in maharashtra karnataka Kerala, Andaman, Nicobar Island, Assam, West Bengal, Nagaland, Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur, Meghalaya states have this type of forest. The most important trees are rubber. So, tropical region, you can see the answer. Okay, in the tropical region, you can see the answer in tropical region. Okay, you will get that uh, answer. See here, this is the... Um, what do you say? It's a tropic of cancer. This tropic of uh, cancer, uh, south part of the... Uh, India comes under tropical region. So, all the states, I mean, I'm showing here, all the states will have tropical evergreen forest. Not in, not in all the parts, but in some parts you have where you have a rainfall more than 200 centimeter. And those areas are covered by this tropical evergreen forest. Is it clear for you? And now these are the some species, some species name, okay, trees. Names are given here. You can see what type of trees are present in this tropical evergreen forest. You can see rubber, mahogany, ebony, rosewood. Rosewood. Rosewood abdina in the tree cut pana adoda core pith abdin solo. And the pith la abde on the red color la or madri color. That is rosewood. Okay. Coconut, you know, bamboo, you know, chinchona, candice palm and ironwood and cedar. So all these are the species of varieties of trees okay, found exclusively in the tropical evergreen forest. So these uh, uh, trees do not shed their leaves. Okay, That you can remember that. Uh, at least four to five trees you must remember. Okay, So what things we will we have uh, studied we have studied about the climatic condition we have studied about the um, areas where you can find this uh, tropical evergreen forest and we have studied some important trees of these forests next these have not been fully exploited but due to the lack of transport facilities okay uh, next uh, topic is tropical deciduous forest tropical uh, we have already studied what is tropical and now we have a very wonderful uh, uh, term deciduous deciduous already we had studied in ninth standard i uh, remember very well we have studied about the deciduous forest deciduous deciduous abina shed their leaves why they shed their leaves because they lie in a, such a region where the temperature is uh, high during the summer Okay, during summer, if the temperature is high, what will happen? You know, the trees have a process called transpiration, isn't it? You would have studied in your biology. Transpiration rate will be more. What happens? All the water which is absorbed by the roots, all it transpires. I mean, it just goes out as a gas 
from the leaves this process is called transpiration so if the situation is worse condition if it is summer then what will happen if the trees are having their leaves what will happen most of the water which is absorbed by the root very strugglefully maybe the root absorbs because in summer there will not be sufficient uh, water around that area what will happen if transpiration uh, rate is more what will happen then the tree may have to die because of starvation i mean without water the tree may have a chance of death okay so in order to avoid this situation i am talking about a biology okay in order to avoid this uh, situation the tree itself shed their leaves ena transpiration leaves moolima da adu nadakkakudiya adanal and leaves e illa abadina transpiration nadakka so theviyana thanni and the tree kullaye irukkradnal adu and the summer survive pandra kudiya ability adu kadaikedu okay idu peru da vandu soonnal ke etha maadhiri namm vandu maathikiradu adu da vandu yes summer season only at the end of the summer season only it will shed their leaves once again the monsoon returns a beautiful leaves come out of this uh, trees adapdi alaga yela yella valandrum okay so i think i have given enough introduction about deciduous forest so these type of forest when the trees shed down shed down the leaves during the summer season and those trees come under tropical deciduous forest then where these trees are found so these trees are found in the areas where okay in this area we receive 100 to 200 cm of annual rainfall this is one you should remember okay this is the first point and this is called as a monsoon forest ye yeah, monsoon forest ipo da namma padichom summer la ela ela keel vilundrum as soon as the monsoon ungalku theriyum summer ku apra rendu type of monsoon namakku varum what is that monsoon southwest monsoon and northeast monsoon obviously when this two monsoon comes then forest becomes evergreen abbe evergreen illa rich ana or green a maaridum adanalai da in the forest ku malai edirpaakra forest nam enna solrena monsoon forest have i made myself clear yes the mean annual temperature of this region is about so what is the climatic conditions 27 degree an annual average annual relative humidity is 60 to 70% so kaathla eerappadam evlo irukku 60 to 70% irukku annual average temperature ena 27 degree celsius so we have discussed about the climate now we will see that where it is found in which region it is found these trees are trees of these forest droop their leaf during spring and early summer just now i have given i have explained in the introduction where we are finding this uh, tropical deciduous forest idella enga irukum appadina himalayas himalayas na ella himalayan region la illa particular region from punjab to assam great plains la punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar west bengal central india jharkhand madhya pradesh chatisgarh south india la maharashtra karnataka telangana andhra pradesh and uh, tamil nadu kerala states are notable forest types of natural vegetation so all the almost all states are under chidla isn't it yes and now we have a, a specific trees which are predominantly present in this deciduous forest are teak sal are the most important trees and sandalwood rosewood kusum mahu palas haldu amla paduk bamboo and tendu these are the trees name and which has a more economic importance okay so in the trees mulima nariya varumanam kadaikidum economic importance these are very valuable trees okay we get lot of uh, products not only the uh, timber we also get, get lot of medicines and lot of uh, uh, food materials we receive from these trees and that is why we say it has economic importance these forests also provide fragrant oil yes and varnish sandalwood and perfumes so cosmetic theviyana vishayangalum kadaikeda namakku so that is why we say it has a good economic importance we will move on to the next topic tropical dry forest dry forest dry region we know that that is much or less rainfall in that particular area so obviously in this area we receive annual rainfall 
or 50 to 100 centimeter. I think it is very clear dry. Abrina, Ambal in the Nura centimeter and the area la Marape. They represent a transitional type of forest. Transition Abrina in other transition na Marad. Okay, other Sulanik Tanguma Marad, Marailana, Rumba dry eyed. Okay, transitional type of forest. These are found in the eastern Rajasthan, Haryana, Punjab, western Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, eastern Maharashtra, Telangana, west Karnataka, east Tamil Nadu. The most important species are Mahu, Banyan, Amaltas, Palas, Halduk, Kikar, Bamboo, Bubble, Kai. This is the same thing. What do you mean by that? This is because transitional type of forest. So if this forest can be converted or can be a tropical dry forest if there is no monsoon. Deserts and semi-desert vegetations will come under dry forest. So, desert region is not here. Semi-desert is not here. That's why 50 to 100 cm of annual rainfall areas forest will also will come under dry forest. So, dry forest, everything will come under dry desert and semi-desert vegetations will come under tropical dry forest. When we talk exclusively talk of uh, desert and semi-desert vegetations, these are also called as a tropical thorn forest. So, this highlight manikla. Tropical thorn forest. These are found in the areas having annual rainfall less than 50 cm. When we are talking, as general, we, we say that 50 to 100 centimeter area which receives the annual rainfall of 50 to 100 centimeter. But very specifically, if it is very less than 50, it is considered as a desert vegetation or you can call it as a tropical thorn forest. Okay. They have low humidity and high temperature. And these forests are found in northwest India, which includes West Rajasthan, Southwest Haryana, North Gujarat and Southwest Punjab. They are also found in a very dry part of Deccan Plateau in Karnataka, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh. And these are the some varieties or species of uh, plants that is seen in the tropical thorny forest. Bubble, kikar, wild palms are common trees found here. And now we are going to see mountain or mountain forest. Mountain. Mountain. Yeah. Malayalerka forest. These forests are classified on the basis of altitude and amount of rainfall. Either further, it is classified based on the altitude. Altitude wise, so number classification based on the amount of rainfall. Also, we can classify this mountain or mountain forest. Okay, either the way you can call it mountain or mountain, any way you can call it. Different types of forest. According to two different types of forest, namely Eastern Himalayas forest and Western Himalayan forest. So basically mountain, mountain nale namakanamba the Himalayas, isn't it? Himalayas. It is classified into two types. Eastern Himalayan forest. You know the eastern region as a Marnachar Pradesh. Okay, Meghalaya. Okay, all this will come under Eastern Himalayan forest and uh, we will see now eastern himalayan forest these are found on the slopes of the mountains in northeast states in the northeast states state layer krayala forest it will come under obviously come under eastern himalayan forest these forests receive a rainfall of more than 200 centimeter you can believe this we have already seen that this will come under tropical evergreen forest isn't it but it is Yes, based on the altitude and amount of rainfall, we are classifying. And now we are classifying based on the altitude. Okay. Yes. They are come under uh, the area where the annual rainfall is more than 200 centimeter. The vegetations of uh, is evergreen type already we have seen. So, the vegetation is evergreen. The altitude, the height, the altitude between uh, 1200 to 2400 meters at this height, this type of forest are seen. Found in this type of forest, sal, oak, laurel, amura, chestnut, cinnamon are the main trees. And with the altitude 1200 to 2400 meter and altitude oak 
Bridge, silver fir, fine, spruce and juniper are the major trees from 2400 to 3600 meter heights. Okay. So, in the range layer trees on the this altitude, I mean 1200 to 2400 meters larka height lay in the mal trees irko, in the trees irko. and beyond that 2004, 2400 to 3600 meter lay in the trees irko, in the trees irko, oak, bridge, silver, fir, fine, spruce, and juniper, juniper. Now we have seen the eastern Himalayas. No, we have uh, we know that it is uh, uh, the rainfall is more than 200 centimeter northeastern states uh, and based on the height altitude it varies uh, different uh, types of trees are found okay now we will see western himalaya forest western himalayan forest of this is region is a moderate moderate means in, uh, the temperature i mean the rainfall is not too high or not too low even the Temperature is also not too high nor low. These forests are found in the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand. Up to 900 meters altitude semi-desert vegetation is found and it is known for bushes and small trees. In altitude from 900 to 1800 meters, Sid tree is most of the common tree here and other important trees in this region are Sal, Samar, Dhak, Jamun and Jujube. Okay. You can see this one so beautifully it is given based on the altitude. So height increase aga increase aga yenna madriyana vegetation se number paakala. Okay. Now you can see this ha. This is the sea level. So sea level la irukra forest elame vandu. You can see subtropical rainforest and 1000 meters height la irukra forest elame vandu evergreen subtropical forest. And uh, height about 2000 you can see. Deciduous broadleaf forest and 3000 meters smaller than a coniferous forest park. 4000 abrina subalpine meadows and 5000 abrina alpine meadows. Meadows abrina grassland. Okay. Next 6000 kumala pull away ice narga eternal snow and glaciers. Okay. These are the zones of forest based on the altitude. So high aga aga aga. The type of vegetation so marite varudhu. This is only agno angulke. This pati adi ke detail kudukla. But then I would like to give a more emphasis on this green cover of India. Students, this is extra information I would like to give. See, for any part of area, forest is a very important. You know why? Forest is considered as the lungs of the world. Forest da na maina solro na lungs abdin ro. Angul kandhe vishin teri ma. Yeah, lungs are well, it respires, isn't it? And without lungs, without the oxygen which it inhale, you cannot survive, isn't it? So on the oxygen I enrich panthe namak kudkarade yare forest trees. So when we are talking about an area or area aditana, that should be According to the government, there should be 33% of the area should be forest cover. Suppose I am taking Tamil Nadu. Okay. So, Tamil Nadu I am taking. So, in the Tamil Nadu, where is the forest in the area? Where is the forest in the area? Then, that is in the area, 33% compulsory forest is in the area. It is a ecological stable ana or state illa na stable ana or area nama solalam idha government solranga but then nammaloda condition romba romba severe ah irukku romba romba poor ah irukku ungalku tamil theriyuma tamil nadu la mattum we have only 20% of forest cover 20% dhaan irukku matha ellathaiyum nama alichitom 33% irukano ana namakku evlo irukku tamil nadu la so, the forest cover has been drastically decreasing down. Okay, that's why pollution is global warming. It's not global warming. Global warming because of the high content in the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that traps the uh, heat waves and the radiations of the sun and it just you know, at hold and makes the atmosphere warmer and entirely 
when we talk of it, it, it is called as a global warming. So that carbon dioxide is inhaled. Evula araga number on the trees on the number vidra carbon dioxide are there to Namakateviana oxygen a vidam vidid. The Vopri and Alavisha say the Nana Muna or Num. Okay, so in a parang over detail Kutrakanga parang. Total forest and tree covers eight lakhs two thousand eighty eight square kilometer. Evula the irk percent of geographical area is 24.39%. So, India is 33%. Irkanu, and irk, India la, overall, this is about the overall India, I am talking. 24.39% is na, irk, inu, sadavidum, number kamiya Is it clear for you? And, and the, this is one year or uh, statistical data. And in the year, la paranga, you can see this one. So, in the year 2017, total forest cover is less than 21.54%. Tree covers, so this is drastic, year-wise, and the rate and the green cover is less than Top 5 states where forest cover decreased. Everywhere, top or countdown list, le kaang, but top five states and then the states la forest cover come decrease. I day over the abrina, Elamparanga, you can see this yellow color, Arnasha Pradesh, Nagaland, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya in the areas la la come here. Day on the trick, okay. You can see top five states where maximum forest cover increased in square kilometer. So in the area la kunja kunja increase airka in the area la la come here, okay. And we have a very many reasons that we are losing the forest cover. You can see forest fire. Forest fire in 2012, it was in 2013, in forest area in forest fire. So this is small statistical data they have given. So students, we must understand the importance of forest. Though we should, we cannot be able to afford or a plant a tree, at least we can protect a tree already which is in our area. That we can do, isn't it? That we can do. But we need to increase our forest. Now you keep this in your mind. When you grow also, you just plant a maximum number of trees. Okay, that is very, very important to us because that trees are considered, the forest are considered as the lungs of the world. Yes. And now we were talking about um, the altitude, isn't it? Western Himalayan forest. We will continue with that. And from 1800 to 3000 meters is covered with a semi-temperate temperate region. Yes, temperate region, coniferous forest, sir, deodar, blue pine, poplar, bridge and elder are main trees of this region. So these are the important trees found in this region. We will go to the alpine forest. Okay. Alpine. Alpine. On the end, the altitude, altitude layer. We have just now, we have seen, isn't it? It occurs all along the Himalayans with about 2,400 meters altitude. These are purely having coniferous trees, oak, silver, fir, pine, and juniper are the main trees of these forests. The eastern part of the Himalayans has large extent of these forests. And now we will see tidal forest. Eastern part of Himalayas has large extent of these forests. And now we are going to continue the class in the next video. I would like to take a break and you also take a break. After 20 minutes, we will come back with another video. We will continue the lesson. Okay, take a break. Bye.